dear students and friends assalamu alaikum and welcome to nadim academy dear friends we talked about the two different types of the elasticity is price elasticity of demand and income elasticity of demand in our previous videos so today we'll try to finish the rest of the types of the elasticity first we'll be talking about the cross elasticity of demand so what does it mean by cross elasticity of demand it means the responsiveness of quantitative demand due to the of quantitative demand of good A due to the change in the price of good B. It means we'll be talking about the different types of the goods. So these goods are called related goods. So what does it mean by related goods? Now there are two types of the related goods. Number one, substitutes. Number two, complementary goods. So what are the substitutes first? Substitute good is the good which in which one good can be used in place of the other good due to the changes in the price. So for example, we have tea and coffee, meat and fish. These are the substitute goods. So if the price of the tea increases, people switch towards the coffee. Uh, it means the relationship between substitute goods is and the price of the substitute goods and the quality demand is positive. While the relationship in the complementary goods is negative. And what are the complementary goods? It means one good is essential for the other. So what are the examples? Number one, car and the petrol, bear and the ball. If, for example, oil, oil prices increase, people try to consume less of the cars or buy less of the cars. So quantity demand decreases. So it shows the inverse relationship between the complementary goods. So look at these schedules. First for the substitutes, then for the complementary goods. For substitutes, tea and coffee, price is 100 and it changes from 100 to 110. Quantity demand, so price of A. So the quantity demand of the B is 10, 1015. So it means price of A increases, the quantity demand of the B increases. So there is positive relationship between the both, as discussed earlier. While in complementary goods, you can find out there is an inverse relationship price of A increases from 100 to 110 while the quantity of the B decreases from 15 to 10 because these are the complementary goods. So dear students you can practice it a lot by your own as well. Now we'll be talking about the point elasticity of the demand. So what does it mean by point elasticity? Point elasticity of demand means what is the elasticity at a particular point of demand line. We have three different points A, T and B and we need to calculate the elasticity for point T. So we can calculate this by geometric method and what is the formula for geometric method? It is length of AT divided by length of BT. Suppose length of AT is 5 centimeters while the length of BT is 2 centimeters. So divide 5 divided by 2 so you get the answer of elasticity at point T that is marked as red. Similarly, you can calculate the others as well. So dear students, this was about the point elasticity. The final one is arc elasticity. So what is arc elasticity? It explains that what is the elasticity between two distinct points of the demand line. So it means we need to calculate between two different points of the demand line elasticity. So look at the uh, the formula is given here. The formula is Q2 minus Q1 divided by Q2 plus Q1 divided by P2 minus P1 divided by P2 plus P1. It means in the formula, if I if I say it in the in the statement, it is uh, the difference of the Q divided by the sum of the Q. So n divided by the difference of the P divided by the sum of the P. And you can find you can see the demand graph as well here. So dear students, I hope you understand the con concept of cross point and arc elasticity. So like the video, share this video, give me a comment. Don't forget to subscribe my channel Nadim Academy and click the bell icon for upcoming videos. Thank you very much.